Groups are great for communication. Some examples that our district uses are curriculum and instruction has groups where pacing guides and curriculum guides can be found. Principals have groups where they put the information that teachers need for the year. We also have student groups. Some of our high schools will do graduating class groups so that they can make sure that those students get that information. So to create a group, we're just going to click on groups. And since this teacher does not have any groups, she can create it from here. But if you have groups, you're going to click on my groups and create group. Name the group. I'll do one for the class of 2021. I can write a description. I need to decide on the privacy so I can decide between organization school, group, no one, or I could do custom. Since this is a school group, I'm going to choose school. Access, we can do invite only, allow requests, or open. So for this one, I'm just going to choose invite only because we're going to do a mass upload into the group because we use PowerSchool and we can download that information to do an upload. And I can choose a group that we want. And for this particular one, I think I'm just going to choose other. And then I click create. And now we can post updates to our group. We can hold discussions. We can upload information into albums. And we could post information into resources.